Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I was watching the uh, Mr. News. Shout out to Pixel Cherry Ninja. I saw your uh, news story a couple days ago where you were talking about the uh, Groovy Mister, and uh, I have some familiarity there. I use a CRT here. I've run Groovy Main before, along with the CRT MU drivers. However, that is a rather complex uh, setup that a lot of people will struggle with. You have to get the right video card. You have to hack the drivers, and uh, sometimes you have to hack the firmware to get all that working correctly. So what Groovy Mister does is it allows us to use the Mister over the network as if it were a 15 kilohertz video driver. And then we have Groovy MAME display to that across the network. I've been playing with that today, and I'll give you a quick demonstration on how that works, and uh, let's get on with it. All right. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get our mister on the network. Uh, I usually run Wi-Fi on my mister, but uh, I already tested this with Wi-Fi. I've got Wi-Fi 5 here at the house, and I have a pretty good Wi-Fi 5 setup, but I was still having problems with video dropping out. So uh, for me to use this, I'm going to go strictly Ethernet, and I'd recommend you guys probably stick to Ethernet on this until maybe if the project gets a little more mature or it starts incorporating things like video compression, maybe it will work over Wi-Fi. But, uh, all right, well, let's get my Ethernet cable connected here. All right, I'll pan down so you can see that a little bit better. So we've got Mr. there. We've got Ethernet going, so uh, really I just need to figure out my network address. So 10.0.100.164. All right, and then uh, I had to update the Mr. file, the actual executable on here to get this working. And uh, lastly, I had to install a core for this, and it, the core is not available in update all yet. You have to do that manually. But it is just simply a RBF file that you copy across. It's pretty simple to do. So let's uh, get this back at the menu. That's a track mode kicking in on me. Okay, we're back at the menu. Let's go ahead and start the uh, Groovy Mister core. Okay, it's standing by waiting. Let me switch over to the PC here. And um, I've already got the executable right there for us. You can see our IP address matches that of the Mr. 10.0.100.164. So I will go ahead and run that. Okay. There we go. Let's click in there and let's just try Ultimate. Let's go with Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Let's start with it. So you can see on my computer it's running in a very small window. Um, you know, the monitors are pretty low res, but on the arcade machine itself it's running full screen. Looks great. Now, a couple things to keep in mind here. We're only passing video through the mister up to this arcade monitor. You'll see some flicker in the video here on YouTube that has to do with refresh rates and whatnot, but looking at the screen here, it looks great. I don't see any of that flicker here in person. Um, the controls, the arcade controls in mister do not pass through to your computer. So uh, to play these games, you need to have a joystick or gamepad or the keyboard hooked up on your computer to play them that way. Um, also, the sound does not pass through to the mister, so any sound will be coming from your PC, not from mister. Um, so we're strictly basically just a GPU, like they said. Uh, you can see Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and we're definitely still in the mister here, as you can see. All right, let me give you a couple other games here you can check out. Okay. 
All right, you can see we've got our first bug. Now, I ran this earlier today before I started doing this video, and everything looked great. Um, but now we've got four quadrants going. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's take a look in here for a minute. Video settings. Scale. It doesn't seem to make a difference. Let's go ahead and try and relaunch the core. Okay. Now when I do that, usually Groovy Mame over on the PC side of things crashes and I get to restart it on the PC as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we are reconnected. You can see sometimes you'll actually get the groovy main menu up on the CRT as well, which is nice. We're going to try and just run the same game again. All right, you can see this time it ran great. We're full screen, so... This is brand new. I just attribute that to some bugs in the software that will probably get worked out if the uh, developer continues work on this project. All right, would you guys like to see Street Fighter uh, 3, Third Strike? It's going to be a while before I think we see a Mr. Core on that. Let's fire that up and see how that works. Oh, a ton of Street Fighter games in there. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Prepare for the battle. Well, I got Yeah, I'm waiting for Yeah, I'm waiting for Are you ready? Go! Uh -oh.
right, guys, well, that's going to about do it for this demo here. I just wanted to get that out because I actually have the equipment and the opportunity to show you guys this working. Um, I think it's going to be a while before I actually use this uh, for a couple reasons. One, I don't normally keep an Ethernet cable connected to this machine. It's not exactly easy for me to get an Ethernet cable to this machine. Um, secondly, I really would want to use the buttons and joysticks on the arcade cabinet. Uh, to play this, and I'd have to run a USB cable from this cabinet, actually two, one for each controller, back to my gaming PC. Um, and lastly, I'd really want the audio to come through. So hopefully they develop this core a little further. Maybe they can pass the controls through. Maybe they can pass audio through. And if that stuff happens, this will actually be a real viable option for me. But, uh, let me know if there's anything cool you guys want me to check out on here or anything in specific you'd like me to test on here. Thanks for joining me. Bye.